Hi everybody, it's great to be back. I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and these are the cards that I'll be using this week. The Transparent Tarot and the Everyday Witch because of the Halloween theme that I'm busy with and because of the Witches series. I hope you are enjoying the Witches series. It is not talking about the Witches um, altogether it is about the environment about what's going on today in in the in general and also we'll be doing um, recipes and we'll, uh, on budget cooking and health that is where the what we are doing in the witches series and if you would like to get into it yourself then these are the two books this one is The Workplace and Spells by Marla Brooks. We did the series on her oracle card, the Witch's Oracle Cards. And this one is by TJ Perkins, The Healthy Witch. And it's great fun. Georgina and I are having great fun and laughs. And she's bringing also things from the outside, from other cultures, other beliefs, other things that she does. And I basically do... Um, the healing side with the tarot and Reiki and meditation. She does meditation as well, but where it, it's it's really um, something that you can sit down, grab a cuppa, and sit in peace and just listen to the conversation. And if you buy the books yourself, then you can bring yourself back into the strength as well. But it's also great fun to exchange this with somebody else and we'll be starting um, the workshops in Georgina and I um, in January so if you would like to join um, uh, in with the workshop it will be 150 euros um, for m maximum of 10 to 11 uh, episodes um, that's how long and it will be once a week and we'll get together um, in Zoom. I think that's the best option. You can switch your camera off and listen or interact by just talking. So I'm looking forward to that but this month it's an exciting month because I'll be making something um, uh, creatively and also something that you can eat. So I'm combining two things made out of one so keep your eyes peeled for that video which is coming up uh, which I will be making will also have uh, a person coming in doing reflexology uh, on the face or the hands and we also will hopefully will have Jan in to do her video on the gemstones so I hope you will follow the um, which is series uh, because we discuss colors of the candles there uh, oils um, fragrances incense etc etc it's absolutely lovely and um, you most probably have already seen the video on the candles making candles at home or buying them scented and colored and we go into discussion about that as well that is with Tracy uh, Castledine Go and have a look on her Facebook uh, Facebook page, um, uh, Love Lizzie. Uh, so go and have a look. But I hope you will enjoy this video for you for your for yourself, of course, this week, because this reading is going to be from the fifth of October to the eleventh, and time does fly. And please click on the uh, the bell, subscribe, and click on the bell on all then you be notified when I go live um, or when new videos are loaded up. I'm so busy with making this series that I sometimes get really exhausted and can't make the um, uh, Friday night live so I'm sorry uh, for last night I didn't go live but I will be going live tonight so I hope you will join me there take care and in and have a lovely week and also there's a video um, under updates uh, for setting your settings after you've subscribed and hit that bell 
then you will be notified. Otherwise, you won't be notified. Okay, take care, God bless, and stay safe. And please give me the thumbs up. Ciao, ciao. Hi, Taurus. This is your reading. I hope you're well. I'm sorry I didn't go live uh, yesterday, but I will be going live tonight, Saturday, this on the 3rd of October. Doesn't time fly? Anyway, um, I've it's so dark and wet and cold here that I've got the heating on and I'm making my videos and I'm enjoying it. I've taken the transparent tarot because I love this. And I'm also using the uh, Everyday Witch uh, deck uh, as an overall uh, theme card or catalytic card. We start off with the world and he's coming out quite often in the readings up till now. I think this is the third time that he's come out. So what goes round comes round. This is also the rainbow. You, um, somebody is trying to send you messages, I believe, um, because the rainbow for me means that heaven and earth is connected and we are all part of the universe and the divine. Okay, Remember that you are part of the big picture. And this is totally a different message than in any of the other readings that I've done but this is what I'm getting you're not realizing that you are part of the big picture something is happening in your life and you are part of it and you're going about it the right way because the world means you've got the world is your oyster you've got the world in your hands you can choose what you want to do and you must realize that if you're not realizing it you might be going up to a next level in your relationship or in your work life there might be a promotion there might be a proposal okay you might be moving home or getting your first home uh, together with somebody else I'll tell you why in a minute um, also, it could mean that you might get married. If you've been engaged, you might get married. Okay, um, something is coming round to the end, full circle. Something is coming full circle, okay? There is an ending. Where there is an ending, there is also a new beginning. Um, the world means to me also the karma card, like the fortune, the wheel of fortune, because it goes round, what goes round go, comes round, what goes up must come down. If you've done good, you will get it back threefold. If you've done bad, you will get it back threefold. If somebody's done you good or bad, they'll get their karma. Don't worry. Now, why am I why did I say you might be getting married or a proposal or buying a house together with somebody because you've got the two of ones you are making plans with somebody the two of ones means that you're making plans okay so you could be buying a house as this card also means moving home and going on holiday you might be going on holiday with somebody something is going to become clear but I think most of you might get a proposal or get married why because we've got the king of swords it could be with a Gemini okay it could also be with any of the other elements because you've got the world um, also um, something is going to could be uh, done officially you could be see putting your talking about plans of coming together you might be getting married because this could be um, the registrar office as the swords represent uh, judicial uh, and uh, municipalities and institutions uh, so lawfully you might be planning to get married after getting your proposal moving up in your relationship this could be also a priest okay you're officially bonding you're making an official bond okay you could be doing this with the Gemini uh, as the king of swords represents Gemini but don't exclude Libra or Aquarius beautiful now you have the sword 
the air element is within your reading big time because you've got the justice card so justice could means that justice could be done if you are in a judicial situation but it could also mean that there again I said don't exclude Libra here you've got Libra the justice card represents Libra Wow so if you are in a judicial situation victory will be yours big time it could be that you've uh, seeked advice from an ad a legal advisor and he's got you victory okay your plans are coming together this could be you discussing with your legal advisor and making plans and steps to take the right course so you're taking the official course you might be signing up contracts like marriage or buying that house it could be the real estate agent getting legal advice for you to go and sign for that new house your other card is the ace of cups look at that emotions the ace of cups your cup is running over this could be legal advice you've got you're happy you're absolutely happy the new start for you because justice has been done and you've got victory everything has come your way like I said if you've done good you will receive good threefold it could also mean that you could meet a cancer Scorpio or a Pisces or that you have advanced in your spirituality something has become clear in your spiritual side you might be finding out that you're uh, a psychic a medium or an, a spiritual person like I said it could be a priest he's spiritual as well but he does uh, represent institutions so a new beginning emotionally like passion love that could turn at, and that you will be nurturing and, and that, uh, because you love somebody so that could be a new beginning like I said you could be getting married so that is your new beginning of love and passion and nurturing each other wow and your last card this could also be a new job my darlings something that you love to do something that is of service to help others nurturing and caring you will be getting news as you've got the page you could also be expecting that is the new beginning that's the new beginning of becoming a parent okay the child is lying between you okay look at that parents child you could officially be getting news from the doctor because this is really a surgeon because he's got the knife um, but it, it could also be a surgeon because when the baby gets born he does have to uh, cut the a bigger cord of the baby so that's why you could be seeing a gynecologist okay getting news that you're pregnant also uh, let's see now we have the Gemini here if you find out you're pregnant now it could be a Gemini coming into your life look it could be a boy because that's what I'm saying in this reading I usually don't do predictions on whether it's going to be a boy or a girl but official news from a gynecologist saying that you're pregnant so it could be a Gemini then we've got the cups that's cancer so it could be a cusp because the ace is lying on two cards so it could be a cusp baby we're at the end oh no we're not at the end of um, September you could you already could be pregnant so then it could be indeed a gen, uh, June or a late June baby which is Gemini cancer okay you'll be getting news official news because you've got the page of swords okay okay you could also be getting news from an aquarium or you could be meeting an aquarium because it's right be, uh, in coming into you this is you and they could be coming in 
or this could be you and he's walking or she's walking towards you there you are you're one you're in their arms you see that I just love the way these cards work they're so magical okay well Taurus there's lots happening for you just to recap it you've got the world something is coming to an end perhaps an end to being alone perhaps an end to injustice justice will be done victory is yours your plans you're making plans uh, or thinking about it perhaps with somebody else as the cards also suggest there could be a new emotional beginning like a love or passion a passion turning into love that my you might be getting married officiality is here and with the card of justice news is coming in there could be a pregnancy it could be a well this is a girl but I could be also a Gemini boy okay because we've got the king here and he's taller so that's quite more prominent standing out uh, standing out as it could be a child uh, okay if you are separated then this could be justice with regards to uh, a child like um, what you might call it uh, allowance for a child um, it could be alimentation for a child payment uh, that is due from the other half okay so something will be clear to you will become clear to you you will get positive news so don't worry the tears are over your cup is going to run over with joy wow now I'm going to get the catalytic card sorry about my English it's not very clear today I've got a major headache sorry okay you've got the seven of wands you have defended yourself you felt you had to defend yourself if you're the mother or the father and uh, you have the child then the other half should pay a child allowance okay so you've defended you've stood your ground because you're strong enough to stand your ground and now that is finished it's coming to an end justice will be done you are strong you're stronger than you think and sometimes I with this card I advise walk away if people are uh, pointing their finger like the ones are pointing towards you that you're wrong or that you should do this or you should do that no you've taken the right way you've seeked legal advice and you've put your plans into action and you will get victory awesome 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 walk away in some instances if friends are pointing their fingers to you or their ones in this case then you know if you think you're right then take advice and you've done that and you've got your victory walk away from those type of people they're not worth having as friends if it is constructive advice yes take it think about it like the king of uh, swords does and take advice if need be but don't always go into other people's drama stay away from it the fields of forgiveness the fields of forgiveness just forgive them they mean well most probably but you're the one that holds the key okay you decide what you want to do walk away if need be as your journey past resentment now and then stopping only to recognize its desolated surroundings decide decide you no longer want to linger on the bumpy road of disappointment no walk away from it it's gone now the disappointments have gone the truth is going to come out clarity will prevail a new way of living will emerge definitely one that is full of surprises and perfectly timed synchronicities set your burdens down 
let go of what delays your progress progress and welcome in exchange the tender but stable roots of new beginnings enter the field of forgiveness where enchantment awaits you there you go yes because you've got the ace of cups where enchantment awaits you that's love passion nurturing big time so no more tears because your cup is running over i hope you've enjoyed this reading take care stay safe and god bless please like and share ciao ciao